One word to describe me on the football field is fast. When did you start playing football? I was about five years old. I played for the Detroit Knights in Pop Warner League. So I pretty much been playing my whole life. Okay, starting at, at five, y'all started off like playing flag? No, I was pads. For real? Yeah, five? I actually played flag and I played pads when I was a little kid. Was you out there hitting that five or what, what you was doing? Oh yeah, I was, I was playing at the line, on the line with, <laughs> with the dogs. <laughs> I was hitting stuff for sure. Okay, and then when you got a little older, uh, what little league team did you play for? The Eastside Tigers and the Detroit Spartans. Uh, tell me a little something about that team. D1, got D1 written all over it. <laughs> 20 plus, so many kids. That's a, that's a legendary squad right there. Okay. That sounds like my uh, my Southfield Falcon squad. We, we mm -hmm. would have beat y'all. I'm, uh, I'm pretty positive. I don't know. I'm tell you, though, I, I can pull the film out, though. We ain't never lost a game, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got to roll with us. Okay. I, I'll give you that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you realize that you had a little bit of talent on the field? Probably when I was about like six, six, seven, seven, when I first started playing my first year for the Detroit Tigers. Who is your biggest influence outside of sports? My dad. Okay. Uh, what's some things that you like to do outside of sports? Just hang with my family, with my friends, get to spend quality time with people. Okay. Uh, so you're a family-oriented person. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel like your sophomore season went? Not as good as I wanted it to be, but it was productive enough for it enough to benefit me and like my recruiting and stuff. So I feel like it was good for me, but like I ain't, it ain't where I wanted to be. Okay. Well, in this off season, I've been seeing you locking people up at camps. You know, multiple camps. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that helped pick up your recruiting and everything. Talk about the camps that you went to and how you performed at them. Really, the first camp we camped at was in Atlanta at Elite Talent. Mm -hmm. You know, I did good there, won MVP, and met this guy named Clay Mack. You know, he he like one of those real, real big guys. He trained mm -hmm. DBs in Texas. So after that, I was just like, my just skyrocketed. I went to every camp and just play unbelievably like I didn't even know I was gonna do that for real but I just play with that chip on my shoulder every every time I went on a camp. What are you working to improve uh, through the summer going into your junior year? My technique mostly because I, I usually rely on my speed like mm -hmm. and it's just natural for me because I'm so fast I rely on my speed my coach wants me to rely more on my technique being my players and my opponents. If you could have one superpower what would it be? Being invisible yeah, it's like being invisible. You can get away with a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite shoe? Jordan, Jordan 11. Okay. Uh, favorite artist? NBA young boy. Favorite football player? Vernon Hargreaves. Favorite movie or TV show? Movie is The Incredibles. Yeah, The Incredibles. Yeah. If you could be one of the characters on The Incredibles, who you would be? Actually, the the baby, because he the coolest one, and he don't even know. For real, he the most lit one, for real. See, he don't even know. Yeah. Uh, man or zone? Man. When in, when in doubt, man. If you owned a team and you had to pick up one of these corners, who would you pick up? Chris Harris or Jalen Ramsey? Jalen Ramsey. Okay, and what what you like more about his game versus uh, Chris Harris? The game is equal, but like, Jalen Ramsey bring that swagger to your team and he uplift the team, the team spirit, get everybody going. Okay, uh, better athletes, receivers or DBs? DBs for sure, for sure DBs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, your top three corners of all time. It's gonna be hard. Dion gotta go number one. For sure. Uh, let me see, Dion, Rod Wilson. Okay. And let me see. I'm putting Jay Ramsey at third. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. He, you throwing him in there early. Yeah. You, you know what he gonna end up doing. Mm hmm. Your favorite player was Vernon Hargrave. Mm hmm. Uh, what do you like about his game? No, he being a smaller corner like me, he plays with a lot of like, like he 
play with that dog in him for him. Mm-hmm. And I, I do the same thing. I see myself playing like him, playing at the highest level like he did at Florida and, you know, doing really well, eventually getting to the league and doing the same thing. What do you feel like is the best part of your game right now, personally? Um, playing off man, off man and press. Really more press because of my speed. Mm-hmm. You know, I use that very well. So being able to just lock up the number one receiver for the opposing team, really, is my best thing for me. Considering you did recently receive an offer from U of M and committed uh, pretty soon after, uh, how did it feel when you, you know you got that offer to your dream school and what made you commit so quick? Now, it was the school that I knew I wanted to go to and like my dream offer. So it was like the biggest one I could possibly get for me. So I knew I wanted to go there. You know, so I talked about it with my coach and my parents, like, should I commit? And they was like, yeah, you know, if that's where you want to go, then go. So I just committed. I wanted to commit before the season already so we can, like, focus and zero in yeah. on the state championship. You know, there's everybody on our team been committing. So we just all wanted, <coughs> all wanted to commit before the season so we can focus on the state championship. And you play Brighton for your first game next season. What are you looking to do game one? Blow them out. <laughs> We, we ain't trying to light up on Brighton like we did last year. Really, we trying to stump on them. What's your stat line looking like, game one? I say, kick return, punt return, pick, and I'm, I'm hitting everything, tackles, all that. All across the stat line. Yeah. With you and Julian, who is already committed to Michigan State, um, do you feel like teams will try to avoid both of y'all this season, or how you feel like that'll play out? Yeah, but like really, Everybody be thinking it's me and Julie in that corner. It's really it was me and my cousin. You know, and Ju played a nickel. As as oh, okay. Me. Yeah, so the corner is really me and my cousin. We already switch around, but I feel like when me and Ju at the corner, one side and the other side, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna try. Okay. And Michigan versus Michigan State week next season. Uh, considering you now have two players on your team that's committed to Michigan State, <laughs> how you feel like that week is gonna play out for you that season? I mean, that next season. Uh, it's gonna be funny. We already been talking about this. <laughs> it's bets, all that. Like, it's, it's gonna be a, a great week. It's a funny week. Is it a particular wide receiver or team that you're looking forward to playing this season? Um, Canton in the playoffs. Yeah. If if we get to meet up with them, Canton, that's for sure. Number okay. one. Who is the person on your team that get you know get everybody ready to play? Um, besides me, you know, it's Julian. You know, he's one of those guys like that play with fire and intensity. He play, he go hard every every play, and he just makes you play better, it makes his teammates play better.
It's Belleville football. We coming, you know, we coming for that ring. Anybody in our way, just letting y'all know we coming. Y'all gonna have to get rolled. Simple. No fly zone.